Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a Saving Your Disaster battle playing as the Last Defenders. We're defending Valeus Soro, and he's got a reinforcing army standing outside the settlement. And we're up against three armies of dwarfs, but it's more like one and a half, since two of their armies are particularly small. Ungram Ironfist got himself a pretty much a doom stack there, and it's obvious that we need to not control a large army. Now, that's going to deny some of our reinforcements at the beginning, but what I'm going to do is just sacrifice these guys at the start, because they have next to no value, and just, just throw them at the enemy so that our reinforcements can come in, because these are our best units right here. Now, looking at our army, we've got a life slan here, so that's really good, and seems like... Um, how much magic do we have? I can't tell. Uh, but we've got some really good units in here. We've also got... It's just it's a bit of a dog's breakfast, the entire army, but we'll just do the best we can. So the odds don't look great, but I think once we get into the battle, it'll 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 be a little bit better than that. Um, one thing to take into consideration is that dwarves usually get a big boost in the order resolve, which is part of the reason why they almost always end up as number one in the faction ratings. You know, before you get a chance to fight them. All right, so these guys here, we're just going to sacrifice them right at the start and not even think twice about it. Just get them in there. Hundred and forty three wins of magic. It's pretty good. Considering the life slant isn't the one in command, that means uh, he didn't get his boosted wins of magic. It's that's the garrison's wins of magic was 143. So in this situation here, it might have been better if he was actually standing inside the settlement. Because that way if we had denied reinforcements, these guys uh, wouldn't have shown up. Okay, now because we've denied their reinforcements, none of their artillery have shown up. That's excellent, because their artillery was probably the most dangerous thing in their army. No, it wasn't probably, it was definitely the most dangerous thing. So, he's got 25% missile resistance, okay. Alright, so what do we got here? Mix and match loads of crap. Um, okay, the Ripper Dactyls here have speed of 99, they've got a speed of 81, but that's because we poisoned them. I'd say just, just leave that be. What are you on? No, nah, he should be on Ancient Steg... Steg sorry, he should be on a regular Stegodon, and he's on an Ancient Stegodon, which is not ideal. And just because I wanted to sacrifice them doesn't mean I want them to, like, do badly. Um, might as well do as much damage to Thorgrim here as we can. Alright, we could probably get some healing down as well. So, what do we got that needs healing? Um, there's the Revocation Crystal. I don't think that can use it on itself. No. Also, just FYI, you can't revive units that didn't start off dead in the battle. Well, that start off dead, I mean. So, for example, this unit here in this particular battle can't go above 79. I'm sure there'll be one or two people being like, Why didn't he revive some of the uh, Temple Guard? You can't. So they need to take casualties in this battle, and then you can revive them. Okay. Let's get a little bit more organized. So here's our infantry. They are not particularly useful. Just keep them back for now. So yeah, Thorgrim can take it all on by himself, but, you know, we're doing some damage to him. Alright, so, let's have a look. But we can heal, we can heal these. Main thing I'm hoping for here is that they actually get wiped out, not just, um... Not just routed. 
Because uh, our reinforcements won't come in until these guys are completely dead. Hmm. Taking out those Iron Drake to uh, Troll Hammer torpedoes would be good, because they're going to really give our beasts a hard time. Ooh. Uh, same with the gyrocopters. Let's get rid of them. A rare occasion where I actually wish I had a few more cold ones here. Because they're doing really well. This is a good start. Alright, that'll do for heals for there for now. Yeah, they'll never catch up, so no point even trying. Uh, better to use missiles. Take them out. They actually trade really poorly in a skirmish. At the moment, balance of powers it, it like even, but we got to keep in mind they've got a lot of reinforcements. That being thing said, so do we. Well, some reinforcements. Yeah. We'll, oh wait, this is the um, engine of the gods. All oh, right, 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 right. Okay, well that'll come in handy later. Um, Alright, let's, let's use these ones here, because they're actually quite fast. And since the enemy don't have any artillery here at the moment, we can... Let's see. They've got flaming attacks, so trying to hit Iron Drakes would be pointless. They did seemingly do a, quite a bit of damage on the Gyro Bomber, but they're not... Um, they could be hard to hit, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, Giant Slayers definitely need to go. Mm. Would work better if we shot into this cluster here. If they take any damage from these guys, we can just we can heal them. Ah, their army's in force much. Good. So they'll be even slower. Are there any guns here? No. So our reinforcements will come in as soon as our... Oh, god damn it. As soon as our guys actually run off the battlefield, which will take a little bit of time. In the meantime, we'll use these to just lure them around. And I'll pop a heal down if I can get a bit closer. Let's get our infantry over here. Well, actually, they're hidden at the moment, so maybe just leave them alone. Leave them be. If they're hidden, they won't go for it. Because they're going to slow us down. Alright, I've got an idea. No, no, no. I was going to sacrifice these, um, these Ripodactyls in there and then drop down the, uh, the solar beam thing. But I don't think that's a good idea. I might just pop down the solar beam thing. Oh, no, I can't get that close. We'll save it for later. Alright, reinforcements are incoming. Good. That's not all of them, I think. I 
Okay, if they're still hidden, just stay, just stay there. Ah, uh, they just gave up their position. Um, go around this way. Go around this way. These guys are no longer hidden either. So, they'll have to come around here. Now, bounty power's in our favor, but we got to take into consideration enemy artillery. Still to come in. It'd be good it, when they do come in. Oh, shit. This guy needs a heal. Um, if we were there waiting for them. Okay, if you guys could turn around and shoot these gyro bombers, that would be good. They're, they're actually very good at taking them out. Shit. I think that's the last of our reinforcements. Shit. These guys are going to have to stand and fight. They cut off. All right, one gyro bomber down. Get over there. This isn't that many of them coming down here, though. If we can take out those troll hammer torpedoes with these guys, that'd be good. Honestly, you should really switch these guys out for some more beasts. They're only they're only adding to a weakness in your army. Okay, cool. We've got Iron Drakes and Iron Drakes troll hammer torpedoes there. Um, what should we use against that? We can actually turn around here and probably beat that. Um, Blessed Carnosaur would be alright against that. And I'll use the Ripodactyls on the other one. These guys here might actually win in this situation. Like I said, if they can take out the troll hammer torpedoes, that'll really help out the beasts. So yeah, just um, ignore those hammerers for now. Just keep them tied down. Just try to get them all over there then. God, this is the equivalent of basically catching the enemy in their camp and wrecking it while the main army is, you know, busy doing something else. Alright, who's lagging? Oh, of course the slant's lagging behind. But that's good. Trollhammer torpedoes are leaving the battlefield. Sooner they leave, sooner someone else will come in and we can take them out. There's probably something ranged. How are we going over here? Good. Now hit those hammerers in the rear. Alright, these three. Turn around and get rid of this brimstone gun. Good. These iron drinks will count for nothing. Not in range yet. Alright, if it's shattered, that's good enough. Alright, I'm going to try and preserve the integrity of your army, so I'll keep this guy in reserve now so he doesn't get wiped out, because they probably will fight to the death. Trying to lose any units.
Don't need to start using this because it will will damage our slan. Good, just get him off the battlefield. Excellent. Can't withdraw this guy from the battlefield, so he's just gonna have to stay away from now. Yeah, getting these these guys in. Um, where's the enemy artillery? Okay, so well, um, well, that one shattered good enough. Take out these gyro bombers. And where's the enemy artillery? All right, so I just saw that then that the battle difficulty is actually on hard, not on very hard. The campaign's on very hard. Better hurry. Although, given the state of the uh, the battle, we should actually be fine to handle what's coming at us. Bounce power's in our favor. Where's that kind of sword? Go pin down those iron breakers. Uh, watch out for Ungrim. Ungrim's gonna be a bitch to deal with. The thing is, this is where the enemy artillery is gonna be coming from. This is where I need to be standing. Oh, look, here it is. Organ guns. This is what we wanted. This way they don't get any chance to shoot. Fantastic. Attack them here. You get over here, you're getting absolutely wrecked. Have another heal. Okay, now might be a good time for that. Stand, um, yeah, stand over here. Just wait for them to get there. Oh, shit. Flames. Is that Angrim? Yeah. Alright, taking out the, their artillery before they had a chance to shoot. That is a really big advantage that we've just gained. But it's still, still cause for concern here. So glad he had a life, Slan. Oh, you need to get out of there. Alright, that looks like all the enemy artillery gone. Okay, we got to tie this down. Oh, they're backed off from them. Okay, um, if they're backed off, I, we want them to come back here just to delay them from showing up over here. If we can deal with them just little bits at a time, that's the ideal thing to do. Just ignore Ungrim. We're not really going to be able to deal with... Oh, we got the Amulus penalty. Huh. Well, we still got unbreakable units that we got to deal with. And this gives us an opportunity to, to get as much healing in as possible. But yeah, I don't think any units got wiped out apart from garrison units, which they don't matter anyway. 
I mean, most of these units are on Force March, so running them down is a bit pointless. I'm pretty sure Thorgrim wasn't. Yeah, okay, but he's gone now. Still be a while before they run off the battlefield, but Ungrim's about to go. Try and get as much healing in as possible. So yeah, if I use the revification crystal on this dude here, we can get him up to 79, which is where that would likely get to. But I'm not going to worry about bringing him over here. It's The battle's not going to last that much longer. Yeah, they're almost off. And this is why you go life slain. Nice. Heroic victory. Yeah, the key to that victory was definitely drawing them into the center of the map, going around them, finding their reinforcements and just not allowing them to do any damage because those organ guns and flame cannons could have just absolutely wrecked our forces and they weren't given the chance to. And now... Pretty sure both of these armies are completely defeated, and all that's left is is that. So, um, okay. Um, it's only going to affect this army here. So just pop that in, get yourself a bit of extra money. Looks like your campaign is going just fine. So I'll end the video here and uh, send the save file back. Anyway, that's the end of this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time, fuckers.